have you join us. At Christchurch Church Tots, we are going to be discovering how amazing God is. God wants us to know him, and to do this, we are going to be reading from the Bible. The Bible is God's word. He wrote it, so we know that everything in it is true. The Bible shows us that God is good and that his love and kindness never ends. Just like Playhouse, we'll be reading together, singing and praying. There will also be a craft for you to do after, so please do share your craft with us as we would really love to see you. We really hope that you enjoy our videos each week, but for now, let's get started with our Hello Song. My name is Sophia and I want to welcome you back to Christchurch Tots. We're so pleased that you could join us again this week. This term, we have been reading from our Bibles and learning all about God's creation. God made everything out of nothing and he made it just by speaking. Isn't that amazing? Last week, we learned that on the fourth day, God said, let there be lights in the sky. And he made the sun and the moon and he also made the stars. You might have had a chance to make this wonderful craft from Rue. If you have, please do send us in your pictures. We'd love to see them. So let's read from our Bibles now and find out what God said on the fifth day. God made swishy fish and squiggly creatures to live in the ocean. He made birds to fly across the sky. So, God made swishy fish. Can you think of anything else that might live in the sea? So um, perhaps you've thought of some octopuses or some jellyfish, there's crabs, whales, starfish, dolphins, sharks, seahorses, just to name a few. They are all so amazing, they can breathe and swim underwater. Some have beautiful scales like fish and some have lots of legs and tentacles, some are big and some are so small that we can't even see them. Did you know that there are so many different types of creatures and fish that live in the sea that no one knows exactly how many there are? It remains a mystery. So, God also made the birds on day five. Let's add these to our board. Can you think of all the different types of birds that there might be? I know that we like to go to the park and we see ducks, um, you might see parrots, um, magpies in your garden, or sometimes at Christmas we see lovely little robins. Um, there are also flamingos, chickens, and ostriches. Birds are so spe special and so different. They have beautiful colored feathers and they come in so many different colors. Um, they can fly, uh, some can swim, some can sing and some can even speak. It would take us such a long time to name all the different types of birds because there are nearly 10,000. God is so creative to think of so many amazing different kinds of sea creatures and birds. 
But God isn't just creative, he's also really thoughtful. Isn't it wonderful that everything he does is planned to perfection? Just think, what would have happened if God would have made the fish before he made the water? Or if he made the birds before he made the sky? The birds have the sky to fly through and trees to make their nests in, and the fish have water to swim in. They both have plants to, to eat and fruit to eat. How incredible that God designed everything so carefully. Right, let's play, pray together. Now, God always listens to us, no matter how we talk to him. But when we pray, you might like to put your hands together and close your eyes to help you concentrate. Creator God, we thank you for the amazing world around us that is filled with so many wonderful, beautiful sea creatures and birds. Please may we always remember your power, creativity and love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi everyone. Thank you so much, Sophia, for showing us that God made the fish and what else did he make? and the birds. birds on day five. At Christ Church Tots, we have been learning all the amazing things that God has created. And by doing this, we have been reading from the Bible. Erica has been showing us um, the memory song that we have been learning each week. And it's God speaks, we what do we do? Listen. Listen. That's it. And um, we as a family love listening to worship music, listen to it at home, in the car. So we really enjoy um, learning and practicing um, the memory song that Erica has taught us. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you a quick little video of Alexander and Ariana singing it. And it'd be really good if you can share some of your videos of um, you and the children also singing along to it. Um, we would love to see. Thank you. Bye. to truly know God, no better way to truly know us, no better way to truly know life, cause in the Bible we meet Jesus. God speaks, we listen, want to read his word every day. God speaks, we listen, read the Bible, trust and obey. Read the Bible every day. Read the Bible, trust and obey. Hi everybody. Today we have been learning that God created the birds and the fish. So we are going to sing some um, nursery rhymes that will go with what we've learned. So let's start with two little dicky birds. So have anyone got any birds or they can just use their fingers? Okay, are we ready? Yeah, ready. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter. One named Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. Well done. She say goodbye to little birds. Bye, bye. Let's... Let me put you down. That's it. And now let's do our song. What? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. We ready? These are your fish, this one, and that's your one. All right, are we all gonna sing together? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish. Where's my fish? Fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Well done. Well, it's time for us to go now. We've got time for one more song. Remember, stay friends with Jesus. Ready to wave goodbye? Clap your hands, everyone together, stamp your feet.